everybody um, I'm back with another video and today I wanted to go over uh, one of my favorite note-taking apps but I feel like it's more than a note-taking app it's called notion so some of you might have heard of it some of you might have not that's okay and I'm super bummed that I did not find out about this until this year and I've been using it for the past few months and it has absolutely changed my life so I wanted to share it with you all today. So if you're in school or if you're not in school, if you just want to get your life a little bit more organized, I think that this app is going to be great for you. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to say is that the wiki part, and so I know that sounds kind of weird because you're thinking of Wikipedia, but there is a wiki aspect to Notion that I think some people might really enjoy. It kind of separates your life into certain sections and you can kind of designate what sort of areas you want to focus on within each section. So I have some that, um, my personal sections, I have, let's see, um, I have notes, I have work, I have personal, and then I have life. And so um, I can show you all here on my screen what mine looks like and I'll even show you a little bit about how I've gone to backlog some of my notes from when I was in school. Um, I haven't done all of them, I've only done my master's and my doctorate that I've sort of like organized some of those pieces, but I'll show you that here in a second. So you should be able to see my screen. It has my wiki page and you can see that I have my Knit Valley in the background because you can personalize it. You can change the covers if you want. You can change it to any photo that you want um, or to just a plain color. You can upload a photo. Um, and I decided because this is my wiki page, I wanted it to have like something personal. Um, and so here I have my notes section for work. I have this other separate section. And so these are um, the ways that I decided to organize my wiki. You can find other ways that people have organized their wikis. And if you like one of them, you can download it for free. And those are just um, ways that you can look at the way other people are organizing their, their Notion. I downloaded this one and I just um, modified it to how I wanted it to be displayed. So then you can see here I have work, so I have my section for um, my work. I also like to put the mission and the core values on there just to kind of remind me and then I have like a different page in here for each of my notes, so student engagement meetings that, and the meetings I have with my boss. Then I have my personal, so then I have my finances, I have my budget in there, I won't open that up. Um, I have recipes, so then this one actually I downloaded. And then the last thing I think I'll show you all um, is um, my compiled knowledge for my degrees. And so I put like imagery that reminded me of my, my master's, my doctorate. Um, in here I have all of my syllabi or syllabus. I never know how to say that. Um, <laughs> and the names of all my courses I took, and then I put topics or tags on here. I can show you the first one. So my first class, Intro to Higher Education. Um, I'm gonna open this as a page. So you can either leave it as a pop-out or you can open it, open it up as a page. And I have the unit sequence and of course my tags and things like that. Um, I have a Google Drive that lives in my personal Gmail that goes straight from here. And then I also decided to add a couple of the readings from my Google Drive um, to this specific folder. And I love that you can see the personal notes and my personal highlights on here. And then I, I added these because this is a template I created um, where like if I wanted to add more of my readings from this class, I can just click this and then connect it directly to my Google Drive. The other thing I want to mention is that Notion is super versatile. So if you think that it's a little overwhelming or a little tricky to kind of figure out, it definitely is and it can be super frustrating at first, but I'm going to try and walk you through a little bit of how I start to navigate and use Notion. Um, but I'm also going to link down in the description a few of the YouTube videos that I use to help keep me um, up to date with like the new things that are happening because Notion for sure is changing all the time and I just I think it's a really good um, tool for students or for anyone who's trying to stay organized. One quick thing I will mention about um, to the point of it being really versatile is that is that you can build basically you're almost like your own little website on this platform so like I connected all of my social media just in case I ever like if I'm making a YouTube video or something that I remember all of them and there's links right there. 
let's say that I'm coming in here. This is my website. If you haven't ever seen it, um, this is like a snapshot from it that I put on the top. And so like, these are some of the, um, these are some of the articles that I've already published and, uh, wrote before. So then, so like, I really love this little toggle button right here. So if you look, it shows all, and I won't scroll through all, but I have topics that I've brainstormed about things I want to write about. I'm trying to get back into the routine of writing. So that's what I have here. Um, so I can do these different views so I can have, um, a calendar view of showing like what I wanted to post or like when I wanted it to be scheduled to post. I can also do a status view. So that means that I can um, see which ones I've published, see which ones I've completed, which ones I'm researching, which ones I've put in draft. If I go back to this initial feature here and I go to one of my templates and I want to edit it because I just want to show you all. It's going to have things that I felt like I always wanted to remember when I'm starting to write. So like my objectives, both personal or professional. Um, and, and then I have here as a side uh, block where it has content. So like my checklist for my blog. Um, this is where I actually put my text for the blog. This is where I put um, titles or um, ideas for the titles or any keywords that I want to think about. And then here I have um, articles. So I created this section so that in case I ever reference any um, articles, whether it's like news outlets or peer review journals, then I wanna have them organized here and I can always add new blocks if I have more. Um, and then here I have uh, images. So if I wanna add an image to my blog and my website, then I wanna like throw them in here. I use Canva to do a lot of my like if I'm going to um, share it on social media, then I use Canva for that. Have, so this is just one way that I try to stay organized with my uh, blog with editing within a template. And I think this is really helpful and shows how like all the different ways you can use Notion. The third reason that I really love this uh, program is that it the app is amazing. So I use it on my computer and I have the... Um, I have a lot of easy ways that I can access it. So like in my bookmarks and things like that, but I also use it on my phone and um, I'll show a screenshot of like how I use it with my phone. Um, but it's very quick and they sync up really nice um, and smoothly. I have no problem kind of like going through and um, adding things or like linking things. Um, uh, and I'll, I'll show you how I organize something that I call my, um, I took this from another YouTuber, my resonating content. And so when I find things or I listen to podcasts or if someone sends me something and it resonates with me, um, or I feel like I want to follow up on it, or if it's going to be useful later, then I will quickly just like add it from Facebook or Instagram or from my podcasts um, app and just quickly link it up to my notions resonating calendar. And it's so easy. And I, I So uh, for those of you who use Google um, Google Chrome as your browser, there's also a plugin, and I think they also have some for other browsers. Um, I can try and see if I can find those and put them in the link below. But um, they have a plugin, so it's going to add to your browser for your home computer, and it'll have a little Notion square. It's like a little cube with an N on it. And so if you are reading an article, or if you're looking at a book, or anything like that, um, you can. And I think it works easiest with articles at least what I found and so what you do is when you've opened up that article click on the notion button and it will automatically it, it, it'll ask you like which folder you want in notion you want to put it in and it'll automatically send it directly to your notion um, like text and all so I thought that was super amazing because I will save like articles from Indian country today or well, different news outlets and it's just it's all there and then I can go in and like highlight and like have my own personal notes just super organized um, however it doesn't work that smoothly with peer-reviewed articles and I think it has to do with like you know access you have to use like your student ID and stuff to to get access into like JSTOR well I don't know if it's JSTOR but some of the other ones I've used um, it didn't work as smoothly with but for public articles it was super easy so definitely download that And the last thing that I wanted to end with is that Notion, so it is a subscribe subscription kind of platform, except 
just recently they did make the personal use um, access free and so before it was like if you're an educator or you have a student dot edu um, or an equivalent because they have international students using this too but they did have it where it was like only like if you're in school and things like that you got like the personal um, account for free um, and so I only had the free account at first and I only had a limited number of blocks and it was I was actually really scared because I was filling it up really quickly <laughs> but um, I think it was in May like the end of May they announced anyone really who who had a notion account could get access to the personal level uh, for free and that has unlimited number of access to uh, unlimited um, blocks and I can show you what a block is if you don't understand because it's it's a it's it's a way that notion operates so I'll show you that as well so um, yeah well those are my top five reasons for using notion let me know if you uh, like this video in the comments below let me know if you want me to review any other note-taking apps or if you have questions about this app um, hopefully it was easy to follow but yeah I'll see you all in the next one Bye.